Hi FlossTube friends. I know that it's been, oh gosh, it's been what, over a week um, since I was supposed to do a floss tube and life got in the way and I had to end up doing, I didn't have to, but um, um, I do Mimi Care for my granddaughter. My grandson is old enough to stay on his own. She's not quite there yet. And um, that was kind of a last minute decision. And so I've had her all week uh, during the day. And we've had a lot of fun. We're posting, we're doing a selfie every day from wherever we're doing our adventures. And she loves to go to the thrift store. So um, we've had just a, a great time. Um, the chicken plate, oh, right there, at 50 cents. It's that melamine stuff, but it's super cute. Um, so I got that, and um, uh, like Priscilla and Chelsea do the Save the Stitches, look at this precious cross-stitched chicken. It's absolutely adorable. I love the back even. It's super cute. And it was a whole dollar. So, and it's going right back up there for my chickens. So, I had notes um, for last week and notes for this week. And I have no idea. I just have a big old pile of stuff. So, I'm just going to go through the pile of things. And I might repeat myself. I might... I don't even know, but anyway, so hopefully you bear with me because I do have some cute stuff to show. And I know I promised you a finish of my wordplay. The idea that I had for my finishing did not quite pan out the way it should have been, but as I teach in my class, flexibility. So I came up with a different idea, and it's actually working out better. So um, I hope to get that finished, and if I do finish it, I will pop on to in either Instagram if you want to follow me on Instagram or on here and I will show you the finish. Anyway, so um, I finished, I had a bunch of finishes, or it seems like a bunch. I finished the Lizzie Kate, I Love You More Than Bacon. So that's for my sweetie. And I think I'm going to do, I don't know, I'm torn. I kind of want to do a flat fold finish, which I have, excuse me, I've never done before. Um, and look how wonky I did this. Uh, I think I was th thinking I could stitch over here something else. But anyway, so I don't know if I'm going to do this or if I'm going to do a, um, just a pillow finish. And then I finish to go along with it. Whoop. You are the bacon to my eggs. And he'd have to be the one to say that because I actually don't like eggs. not my thing. Um, I finished wordplay for July. I'm ahead of the game and I did change the colors. Just brightened them up a little bit. The colors that were chosen for the design are beautiful but this fits better with my decor and I don't know if you can tell or not but the mer person, can you see it, is sparkly because I put some um, chronic in the crown and we decided that it's a mer person because my granddaughter said it can't be a mermaid because she doesn't have a top on and we're encouraging modesty so it's a mer person or a merman we're going with that I'm not sure why I have fabric hanging up um, and this is the if you haven't seen the Lizzie Kate Bacon Bits pattern, oh, it's so cute. I have one more I think I want to do of this one. Or maybe it's this one. I can't remember. Anyway, I think I want to do one more. And then I will be selling the pattern. I got this in the mail. The 2018 Prairie Schooler Santa. I hope they continue doing a Santa every year. Love this. I probably won't stitch the words just because... It's, to me, it says, let's snow it. Let's snow it. Instead of let it snow. I get the, that it's down enough. But I would probably just leave that off. 
anyway, he's really cute and I can't wait to start him. This is my problem. See if you can relate. I get these patterns in the mail and then I want to stitch them because I want to stitch all the things, but I want to stitch all the new things. So I'm, I'm leapfrogging around a lot, I know. Project bag, not sure why that's here. I'm telling you, I have not done any more stitching on my um, stitch along for with the Cardinal, so I won't even show you that. Oh, there's my menu plan for next week. If anybody wants to know what we're having for supper. Oh, and here's a prime example of get it in the mail, want to stitch it up. So I got the Buzzy String from Lizzie Kate. And I started it last night. My patterns. Hold on, I'm not. Ugh. I'm sorry I'm not organized, y'all. Okay, so fuzzy string. Super cute. I have all of them, except for the doggy and kitty. I wasn't going to get doggy and kitty, but now I think I must have doggy and kitty. So I will be on the lookout for those. Um, buzzy string is super cute. I'm doing buzzy, and then I'm doing spooky next, then thankful, then merry, then snowy, and then spring, and they'll all be done. And I'm going to do the Priscilla and Chelsea finish on um, barn wood. I saw a plaque thing at, I think it was at Michael's, or I think Joanne's has the same one too, except the Joanne's one I have to paint. Um, and then I'm going to uh, mount it so I can switch them out, because that works for my decor right now. I think we're probably going to stay in this apartment like another year. But anyway, so I started this yesterday. And look, it is, it's a quick stitch. I made a boo-boo and I don't even care. I'm not even mad. It's just a, I got an extra stitch in there. Oh well, lives will not be lost. So I'm super excited about that. And it's turned out really cute, but see, that was not in my plan. My plan was to spend June finishing up everything that I did for Stitch Mania. Well, it's just not happening that way. And that's okay. Again, lives will not be lost. Um, I think I told you I'm cleaning up my craft room, and that has been put on hold until today because we had to have an electrician come in um, to do some work for air conditioning. Thankfully, we live in an apartment and everything was taken care of. Um, so the electrician came in this morning, um, so I had to, I couldn't get in that room to do anything. So, but I did start taking out, I have all my crap in bins. So I did start grabbing things out of bins. And in this one bin, I found Michael's receipts. I found an old map from, I don't even know, like Georgia or somewhere. I found receipts from places we had been in Florida, all, you know, pitched all that Found all kinds of junk, but I'm also finding some cross stitch stuff. So, this is honor, glory, duty, pride, and I am in love with this pattern. I had started it a long time ago, a long time ago, um, and it was it was in there. The the threads weren't in there, but this was tucked into the. It's on navy, Ada, um, and using the DMC. And I'm going to, look, I have very little space on top and bottom. <clears throat> Yikes. That's okay. I'm just going to make this into a pillow. And then I might do it on a smaller count of linen. Um, I might. And just switch the, the um, ecru collar for uh, like a navy blue or something. But anyway, I love this. And I'm happy that I found it because I knew I had it. I saw somebody else stitching it. And I thought, oh, I know I have that somewhere. And I just happened to lay my hands on it. So that will go into my patriotic section. So I found, I found my notes. Um, haul. I've had some haul. And I don't have it all here with me, but y'all know what they are if I say it. They're all pretty popular. I did get uh, Shakespeare's Peddler, basket of red, white, and blue, 
I can't wait to stitch this one up. That's Kitten Stitcher on Floss Tube. Love it. Um, here are all my strings. I have them all in this little basket. So now I have them all, except for Kitty and Dog, and I'm gonna get do Kitty and Dog. I found Hello Summer by Plum Street Sampler, and I'm really excited to do to do that one. That's really pretty. I got um, Heartstring Sampler's Festive Little Fobs, the Seaside Edition. Those are really cute. I'll probably buy all of hers, um, all of her Festive Little Fobs. They are really cute, and I want to learn how to do the berries. I have a new basket in my living room, a wire basket that needs some stuff. Um, let's see, I also got... Oh, Ida May. I got Ira by The Good Huswife, and I found Ida May. They've, they've been reprinted, so they're not like an arm and a leg in your firstborn. So um, I have Ida now. Oh, I think the sun's coming out. Um, and I did... What else did I do? Huh. That's pretty much it. I'm looking for, so I did the July wordplay. Um, oh, I made my first needle minder, y'all. I want to show you that. And I have some stuff coming. Yeah, I have a few charts coming too. Um, so I need to get selling some charts because I, there are some that I might stitch a second time, but, and I'm not, you know, not my Prairie School or my Lizzie Cates or whatever. I'm um, definitely not my Blackbird designs. I love them too much. Um, so, but I think my other ones I'm going to start. And maybe even some Plum Street samplers. There's just those patterns, you know, that you just don't want to get rid of. So, um, this is a trigger alert. I'm going to talk about uh, death and grieving. So, if that's a trigger for you, you might want to pause, move ahead. Um, and I'll, I'll do a little wave when I'm done talking about it. So, um, my dad passed away um, expectedly but unexpectedly uh, three about three years ago. He was sick, and they did tests. They found out he had a virus that was eating away at his heart. So he was put on the national transplant list eventually after some, you know, they thought this might work, and then they thought this might work, and then they thought this might work. And um, that is absolutely no reflection on the medical care he had. He had the very best of everything. He was at Vanderbilt Medical Center, and they were top-notch. They really were. So, um, anyway, he went on the transplant list, and he was very methodical about learning about everything. 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 And he did his research, and he found out what his quality of life would be like until he found a, a donor. He also knew that it was going to be very hard for him to find a donor because they base it on your height and your weight, which I did not know. Um, so given all that information, he decided that he was going to come home on hospice care. And we fully supported any decision that he made. Uh, it's his body. It was his life. It was a life very well lived, and um, unfortunately, it just wasn't lived out, you know, to a to a ripe old age. So, um, anyway, during all that, I stitched constantly, pretty pretty much. If I was sitting with him, I was stitching, and he loved my stitching. And the project that I uh, finished while I was there is in a bag and I can't look at it yet. It's been three years. I mean, I would be able to, to look at it. Um, just because it, when I look at that, I hear his voice. And it's still really, really hard for me. Father's Day was extremely hard this year. It, uh, it's just one of those things. Grief is an ebb and flow. So anyway, I'm telling you all of this to tell you that my dad was very patriotic. He had a huge flagpole, huge flag in his front 
uh, yard all the time. He was extremely proud of my youngest son, Christopher, who was in the Navy, and he got to see him um, before he before um, he did pass away. Chris was able to come home and, and be with him for a, a very brief time, but we were very grateful for that. Um, and he, anyway, he always wore a, that's not the way, um, he always wore a flag pin. No matter what shirt he had on, he wore a flag pin and or a patriotic t-shirt. So, I made a needle minder this weekend for Father's Day, um, and it is like this. And it's on a yo-yo, because the magnets that I bought were too big, so I have another one, it's just the pin part. It's actually, this is a button, and I took the shank off, and then I just glued the magnets oop, onto the back of the yo-yo. And I love this, because I love yo-yos. And I, uh, you know, this has special meaning. And so the next one, I have the smaller magnet, so I'm going to put that on the other side. But I use it to hold my chart or my needle or whatever. So I have one of these things. It's a copy holder. For those of you who know how to type, typewriters were things before computers for you youngsters. And I had this, I bought it at a uh, Goodwill for... 69 cents back in 2011 and this holds my charts it's metal so I can put that up there and it will hold my chart onto here and then I can use my little metal um, row holder thingies to show where I'm at so just a little piece of my dad with me when I'm stitching All right, I'm done talking about that. So, I think that's it. Oh my goodness, you guys. I think that's it. Yep, looks like it. So, I need to get back to keeping very good notes. I'm just about to make about three or four finishes, so I'm extremely excited about that. And I'm coming to you from my kitchen. I'm gonna try to come to you from a little bit different places. Um, this, I'm sitting at my little uh, table. It's just my sweetie and I, so we have a tiny table. And then I have all this display stuff back here. That has eggs in it. You probably can't see it. Little plastic eggs. And my glass chicken. And all my good stuff. And these are my aprons. Oh, look at my chicken plaque. Isn't he cute? Goodwill. And then this red, white, and blue apron. Oh, you guys. Isn't it awesome? And then here's a dish towel that I stitched up that says, "Cheer, three cheers for the red, white, and blue. I love doing these. I have a three-tiered tray a la Priscilla and Chelsea. I'm going to turn this around. So that is full of patriotic stuff and I do have a bunch of patriotic stitching to do. Um, oh, I have another finish. Ooh, I have another finish. Give me two seconds. Oh. Okay, we can just say that was you getting to look at my patriotic rooster. Okay, so um, I'm I have to get to finishing stuff. That is supposed to be what I'm doing right now. But, and I will. Look how cute this is. I have no idea who, who this is from. I have absolutely no idea. If I run across the pattern, I'll let you know. Maybe somebody knows. But, oh, it is so cute. And it's tiny. It's tea tiny, y'all. And look how I finished it. Yep, that's a button, and it's glued on there, and let me tell you why. Okay, so I watched Vanna, the Twisted Stitcher, all hail to Vanna, for finishing. So, I did this with the, I did the interfacing, I did the interfacing on the back, um, I tried to have little sharp corners, I kept hearing Vanna's voice in my head going, no bumpy corners, no bumpy corners. I have bumpy corners, sorry. 
Um, anyway, so <clears throat> I sewed, like she said, across the whole thing and then down the whole thing. I did that. I forgot to leave the little gap to turn and stuff. So, flexibility, again, um, I slit this. I could have picked out the stitches, but I was afraid because this is tiny and there was not a whole lot of space down here. So, I slid it down here very carefully because my stitching was in there. Turned it inside out, stuffed it really well, and then glued the button on top of the slit and you would never even know it was there. I have a bunch of antique buttons that I absolutely love and this is a good way to show them off. So, this is my tiny, tiny little pillow and it's patriotic and so it's gonna go on my patriotic tray. If you screw up, it's okay. I do a lot of Pete the Cat stuff in my classroom and he always says, you know, do we cry? Goodness, no. We just keep singing our song. So, I was really happy with myself. A couple of years ago, if I would have done this, I would have been very upset with myself and beat myself up for days and days of how stupid that was and how I, whatever, whatever. I don't do that anymore. Life is too short. So, my cute, super cute finish. I'm loving it. I think that is it. I'll probably come back to you in a couple more days. I hope to get a bunch done. Um, again, I'm doing Mimi Care with my granddaughter, um, but she likes to work on the computer and she's doing some educational stuff. So, um, while she does that, I usually sit next to her and stitch. So, that's my stitching update, you guys. I hope that wherever you are in the world that you have good weather and you are getting stitching done or you are doing whatever makes you happy. And I am going to see you soon. Have a great stitchy week. Bye.